Uh, well, it just goes to show that uh, a lot of property firms, uh, I mean, a lot of foreign investors held a lot of property firms, uh, which is sort of in line with uh, the law, which states that foreign investors can't hold property fully. So the, be the next best thing is to hold property companies in the stock market. Uh, now, to position yourself in this market, I think you've got to do some bargain hunting. Uh, when the index hit the uh, 7 3 level, it was the springboard for most local investors to bargain hunt and uh, to, to see any uh, cheap stocks out there. Uh, I still like property companies exposed to uh, the BPO sector and has a lot of rental income growth. So I'm looking at Mega World and Ali, and by extension, Aggie and uh, AC. Uh, in terms of how, far the, uh, how low the index will go, uh, it really depends on how fast uh, foreign investors pull out and at what level will they stop. So just to give some figures, uh, at the height of our index, at uh, the 8,000 level, we had a positive 27 billion net foreign buying. And since then, since the outflow started in August 15, we've seen 28 billion in outflows. So we're around negative one, 1 billion. Okay, now that uh, said... How low we will go? Uh, yeah. This year we reached around... Yeah. Okay, Go ahead. so that said, no, what catalyst does the index need to buoy itself back above, let's say, 7,500, which seems to be a good support level? Uh, that's hard. Uh, third quarter earnings has to be really good. There's a lot of uncertainty in the market between the Fed rate hike, uh, the OPEC formal meeting, the U.S. elections, a hard landing of Brexit next March. So in terms of negative catalysts or uh, headwinds, we have a lot. But in terms of tailwinds, uh, there's not much. Uh, again, remittances numbers has to be strong. Corporate earnings has to be strong. Uh, the BPO sector has to grow well, and our GDP should be sustained at least above 6.5%. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's good that you mentioned the uh, earnings season because it is upon us again, and growth is not looking too great for the third quarter and the fourth quarter. As it stands right now, it looks like we will be recovering next year. However, remittance data is still due out later. So what do you think, um, how will these factors play in so the remittance of course with the peso kind of really at very very low levels right now also that tax reform package coming online maybe in the near future is certainly going to hit earnings mm -hmm. yeah uh, well remittance data tonight I think it will be in line with uh, the general trend this year remittance growth has slowed down considerably uh, in terms of like social political events affecting remittances the Middle East tensions have been uh, one of the causes, uh, low oil price envi environment has been another reason. Uh, that said, the majority of our, uh, remittances come from Western nations, uh, particularly the U.S. And I think uh, so far our uh, relationship with the U.S. has uh, been relatively strong. So I think uh, remittances, remittance growth should, you know, slow down, especially uh, moving forward. But um, in terms of the hard figure, I think it's still solid.